Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to the Dar Education Project video tutorial series for the Ruby and Rail. And in this session number four, we are going to learn the conditional statement if and else. So let's start up a program. And uh, here we are creating a new program. Right click and create new file and create the conditional if statement. Condition uh, is used to check whether. Uh, select uh, first of all Ruby conditional statement is used to display uh, the decision making between the two uh, decisions and just for that I am going to can write a conditional statement if program and uh, after that if you will place semicolon it's up to you uh, for example, we have a marks variable, and remember that is a case sensitive language. Marks is equal to 45, and if we want to get the result. If marks is less than equal than 50, then we want to display uh, puts sorry, you are failed. Okay, now run this program, and you can see that. Uh, okay, we will run this program from here. Run, and here is the condition of condition statement. And you can see that uh, first of all, condition statement if program lines will appear, and after that, sorry, you are failed because uh, the marks is less than equal than 50. If the marks is less than above equal. Uh, greater than uh, 50, then what will happen? You can see that nothing will be shown on here. So else part is used uh, to display the information uh, if the condition was not true. Great, you are passed. Now run this program and uh, you can see that this condition was shown. Great, you are passed here. Similarly, if, uh, uh, if we want to get else if statement, else if and provide marks is less than equal than uh, 60 and marks is greater than equal than 50 for example and then uh, we want to show the condition here uh, something like uh, something uh, puts you got uh, B grade here Now we will run this program and uh, see what will show in our grade. You are passed. Why? Uh, if marks is uh, uh, less than equal than 60, since this condition, the both condition needs to be true. It's greater than 50, but it's not uh, less than equal than 60. Let's suppose we have uh, 59 here. Then what? will be the output result you can see that you got a B grade here because uh, this condition fulfills and after that uh, this line is also fulfills and if we remove this end here and uh, then what will happen you can see that an error was shown here okay so if you want a chain of if else condition then you should uh, do some important things. So first of all, you will use else if and the syntax are ELS and IF here. And after that, you will place else. And here you whatever. I can't even miss it. Else if. And here we will use else here. Now run this program and one with condition. You can see that you got B grade here because uh, if this, this condition is not true and after that the control was passed to the else if and the condition was passed here and if this fulfilled then it will automatically goes to the end line here. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please watch the next tutorials and subscribe to our channel for further details. Allah Hafiz.